In this video, we want to demonstrate a new piece of functionality that we've added um, recently to the Drainage and Utilities tools. So here you can see I'm in the Drainage and Utilities workflow. I'm on the Layout tab, and we've recently added um, this Place Nodes option or tool that allows me to place nodes along um, an element of some nature. So I'm just going to kind of step through the tool real quick. Um, go ahead and expand my view so we can see it. Um, and you can see just from the dialog you can set an interval, a begin, end station. You know, that you'll have a reference element that you're going to locate it along. So I'm going to go ahead and, and select the reference element for node location. That's going to be this alignment. Or if it recognizes it in the file as well, you could pick it from a pick list. Um, so I'm just going to pick the alignment. That's my center line geometry. Um, next is my reference surface. And then I specify an interval. So in this case, I've just preset it to 400 feet. But again, you could type there and put in whatever you want. Um, and then I'm going to designate a start station. And I've designated it at station 52725. And you can see I could... Um, you know, data point to lock that in if I needed to, or again, key in the station that I would like to start at. So I'll accept that location, and I'm going to go ahead and unlock the end station. And, and so you can see as I drag my mouse down up station, as I as I get to the next 400 foot interval, it will place another node there. So you can see that pop into the screen there. And as I keep going, I eventually get to another node. So as you drag, you'll see the nodes show up. So I'm going to go ahead and put the last station at 535.25. So that'll give me three nodes spaced 400 feet apart. So I'm going to accept that station. Next is my offset. In this case, I'm going to be 14 and a half feet to the left and then the very last node will allow me to rotate it so it'll spin it and I can type in a, a, a rotation at all and it'll apply it to all the, the nodes there and so I'll accept that and it'll place the three structures <coughs> And if you look at any individual structure, you'll see its uh, manipulators, all the set settings that I put in there, the offset, the station, the rotation, and of course that will also show up in the properties as well. So that's the new place node along basic tool.